Hey, good morning. Man, it is bright outside this morning. It's Motivation Monday. I'm so excited to be outside. It's springtime. Uh, Jason Michaels here with you. Let's dive into today's two big questions. Uh, so today's two questions. Number one, to overcome a challenge, do I ignore it, as in pretend it's not there or fake it till I make it, or do I acknowledge it and work through it? So to overcome a challenge, do I ignore it or acknowledge it? And then question number two is, how do you keep your impossible challenge from defining you? In other words, he's a great magician instead of he's the magician who has Tourette syndrome. Uh, okay, so uh, my answers to the first question, do you, to overcome a challenge, do I ignore it or, or acknowledge it? Um, honestly, you can do either one because I did. Um, the way that it worked for me is uh, I I you know, never saw myself as, as just a guy with Tourette syndrome. I had a passion for performing. I had a passion for standing up in front of audiences. I just did what I wanted to do. I uh, wanted to go out for this play when I was in high school, so I went out for the play. I didn't think to myself, oh, what'll happen if I go out for that play? I just did what I wanted to do. I think we have to live our lives, and we have to live our lives boldly, and, and we have to be willing to take chances, even if those chances means that we, mean that we could potentially fail from, fail from time to time. Failure is not a bad thing. Failure does not mean that you are a failure. Failure is about learning and improving and getting better so that we can live, you know, exciting, dynamic lives. So, um, you know, I kind of ignored my Tourette syndrome and I built a successful career as a professional magician and now a speaker as well. Uh, but if you really want to know the truth, I found my place. I found the place where I am doing the best work right now in my life because now I'm willing to talk about the Tourette syndrome. Now I'm actually acknowledging it. I don't go out and create magic tricks about Tourette syndrome. I just go out and I do what I do and then I'm willing to talk about the Tourette syndrome. I'm willing to talk about overcoming impossible challenges that at some point in all of our lives we have to deal with. So um, to overcome your challenge what, or any challenge, you, you can absolutely fake it till you make it and that's a viable option. That's what I've done for years. Or you can just say, hey, this is what my situation is and I'm gonna you know talk about it because um, it's incredibly fulfilling. Even though I didn't want to acknowledge it for years, it's crazy fulfilling now that I'm able to talk about it and help other people and then connect with people in a way that I never would have connected with people before. There's no question about it. So that is ultimately a decision that you should make. It depends on how comfortable you are. And sometimes you have to be willing to get out of your own comfort zone in order to you know, grow as a person. So anyway, I would, uh, I would say you make your own decision, but think long and hard about being willing to talk about whatever your challenge is and being open with it. Just, you know, that, that might be something that could be potentially very fulfilling for you. Um, question number two, how do you keep your impossible challenge from defining you? You know what? I have Tourette syndrome. There's no doubt about it, but I am not Tourette syndrome. I'm not Jason Michaels Tourette syndrome guy. If I had wanted to be that guy, I absolutely could. What I wanted to be was I wanted to be a professional entertainer. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be a magician. Now I'm a speaker. Uh, and I happen to talk about Tourette syndrome. Uh, I have a lot of interests, a lot of things that are beyond Tourette syndrome. Tourette syndrome just, just happens to be the challenge that I deal with on a daily basis. So how do you keep your impossible challenge from defining you? I think ultimately it's a personal choice. You have to make the decision in your own mind. It, to me, it comes down to what I, th I think it's a belief thing. So when I talk about living big with belief, imagination, and going forth, as I talk about in my book and as I talk about in my speeches, um, you know, this is one of the big things that I think can help define who we are as people and who how we put ourselves out into the world and how the world sees us. So um, it comes down to what you believe. Do you want? Do you want your impossible challenge to define you? And if you do, that's fine. But we are so much more. When I say we, I mean all of us are so much more than a mental challenge or a physical challenge or any sort of challenge that we deal with. We are, we were created with purpose and we have, we can go out and affect the world and we can touch people's lives. And sometimes that comes from being willing to talk about what we're dealing with, but it doesn't mean that it has to define who you are. That is ultimately your decision. And I would say that you can take baby steps and you can uh, decide how how much you want it to define your life or not define your life. But, uh, but yeah, ultimately it is your decision.
Anyway, that's today's Motivation Monday. I hope these were useful and helpful tips and thoughts. Uh, and if you want to, me to answer any of your questions, bounce over to my website, jasonmichaelsmagic.com. Hey, if you're interested in getting the first 80 pages of my book absolutely free, that's the first five chapters of my book, you can do the impossible too. And this book has 20 five-star reviews on Amazon. All you have to do is bounce over to my website, jasonmichaelsmagic.com, and you'll be given an option to just put in your name and your email address, and I will email you the first 80 pages of my book. You can do the impossible too, so you can decide if you want to uh, read the entire thing. All right, send me some more questions. I want to answer your question and uh, give you some motivation Monday too. All right, take care. Bye.